Hey family, it's Regina. Welcome, if this is your first time, welcome back if you're hanging out with me again. Hopefully this will be another interesting video because I am finishing up my Middle Eastern rehome, declutter, top 50, honorable mention, 20, let's say, and the dozen that didn't work for me whatsoever. And that's what this video is gonna be about. The one that didn't make the cut and why? Because maybe I don't even need them, at which point let's rehome them. But before we get started, and I promise it won't take long, y'all, I have been on a terror. And I say that because my new rule, if you haven't seen that video, I have a rule that if I have multiple flankers, I have to get rid of 50%. And it has like changed my perspective, sort of. We'll get, we'll get there. As I like to say, cheers. Let me quickly tell you my story. I'm in the midst of a journey to reduce my six to 800 fragrance collection down to 200 under the direction of spirit. I've already said my cheers, but we're now diving deep into the honorable mentions. I have a basket. I don't know how many are in here. No, this is in no particular order, but these were the honorable mention when I went through and did my top 50 Middle Eastern fragrances. For whatever reason, they didn't make it. Now the question is, do I even need to keep them? Where do these fit? I'm just going to reach into the basket. We're going to get started. Gorgeous bottle. I probably are not going to be able to. I believe this might be a Love Don't Be Shy dupe in another video. It turns out that I have the original and possibly three flankers. Yeah. <laughs> if you have noticed my other videos, I try to speak more slowly so that I can enunciate and be clear. Because when I get excited and I talk very fast, I tend to mumble and I run all my words together. And sometimes people speak, people think that I'm not speaking English. This is Yakin. Ooh, ooh. This is a marshmallow smelling floral. I'm not sure that it would best love don't be shy or fresh if that were the case. I gotta wear it, see what I think. This is Ajmal Evoke Silver Edition. I want to say I remember this leaning masculine for me but it's not in the masculine pile so maybe it didn't and I just don't remember what it did nice but a no do you like that decisiveness look at that I should have started with some caveats and disclaimers me saying this is a no is not a ew is nasty nope because you've seen me do that that's not that at all that is this is an honorable mention and it is very nice but it is not going to beat out one of my top 50. I probably have other niche designer celebrity fragrances. So this is nice, but a no. May as well do the Ajmal Evoke Gold Edition following the Silver Edition. I want to say my memory says I preferred the gold to the silver. Yes. <laughs> this, this is a yes. If I find out what it's a dupe of or a clone of, then I'm gonna compare it side by side to decide Middle Eastern or OG. This is Maison Alhambra Chance Tenderina, which is a clone dupe of Chanel's, um, well, I don't know which one it is, Tender, I don't even know, it's a dupe for one of the Chanel's. I don't have any Chanel fragrances in my collection, I don't know if you guys have noticed. Not a fan of the Chanel DNA, although if you have noticed, which maybe you don't, but anyway, I do have a pretty large collection of Chanel handbags. Love vintage Chanel bags nothing to do nothing to do with this fragrance let me see what i think of this fragrance i remember it's a recent edition i remember buying it liking it it's very light very floral I thought it was really good for spring oh this is still nice this is still this is still floral juvenile i'm gonna wear it and i'll make a decision I'll let you know what, it, what the decision is this one is rave now white this is another new edition did i even do a haul recently with this i think so doesn't matter it didn't make the top 50 it doesn't matter whether I bought it yesterday if I bought it last year if it didn't make the top 50 while I may have bought it recently I clearly don't love it more than I love the others that is the criteria folks how would be bizarre but sorry if I'm if you guys want me to go slower or talk more about these but I've already talked about these in several different videos now it's a matter of ooh, this is a no what's coming into my nose right now probably has pineapple in it because pineapple and I as I've said are not friends we still ain't friends. This is what I call the yellow Yara. The other two made the top 50 list. This one did not, and that is because I believe there is that scent of mango or there's something. This is a definitive no. Again, just as that disclaimer, does not mean it's bad. I'm not saying that at all. 
It just smells similar to other things that I either have, possibly have that I haven't gotten to yet, that I might want more of or that I would prefer. So this is nice. It's actually, it's, it actually is very nice. It's still a no. <laughs> All right, let's talk this. Um, this is Almaz by Kajal. Thing I love about is the bottle. I don't remember the juice. As you can tell, I don't have a dent. Oh, it's dirty. It's dusty. Shh. But let me see what I think now. Be because I have a I have a different standard. I, th I think one of my last videos I talked about having wanting to go through phase one, round one by my year anniversary, which is coming up in August. That might have lit a fire under my butt because I still have a lot of fragrances to go through. <laughs> I thought I was making my way. I will put an insert in here of the number of boxes that I have at the foot of my bed. Honestly, they need to go. And it's getting to the point where I'm like, I'm gonna have to donate them or something because they're not going fast enough. I haven't said anything about sprayers, you guys, but that was crap. Mm, oh, man. Oh, this smells like citrus and mint. This is very weird. And I kind of like it. <laughs> I I like the mint. All right, I might have to revisit this one. So I'm, this is a yes for the moment because I think I need to revisit what the notes are. I honestly was not expecting the mint. Oh, it's nice, though. Mmm, like a mojito. Okay. So, Almaz. Almaz by Kaj... I had mentioned that I had a couple other Amirs in my top 50 video, and this is the one, Fire Your Desire. Another Amir made my top 50. I don't remember why this one did not spread. I'm going to tell you right now. This is tobacco, tobacco praline, tobacco toffee, t tobacco, and some sort of sweet caramelly flavor. Why didn't this make the top 50? Oh, yeah, sorry. That probably meant it's a yes. It should stay. <laughs> Albany White. I think a great look. It did not make the top 50, but I have worn this. I mean, I remember smelling nice. Oh, oh, it's a crap sprayer. I, I'm gonna stop. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't wanna talk about sprayers. This is a no. Disclaimer, it didn't make my top 50 for a reason because there were 50 other fragrances I would rather reach for. This is Sapel Bound is what I believe it's called for women. And I almost feel bad because this was in my first round of declutters. This one was in it. And then when I went back and revisited them, I liked it and took it out again, but it didn't make the top 50. I smell fruit. Fruit went in my nose. <laughs> had to get another spray strip and had to sneeze. This is fruity. This is a nice fruity. Mild. I don't want to say no. Disclaimer. This one is Sonnet. This, I, this one may have been another one that was in the declutter, the original. I went back, saved it. It didn't make the top 50, and now it's sitting here in the elimination round. Oh, this is like Survivor. Oh, man. I don't even, I've never even watched Survivor. I have no idea what it is. They're in elimination round on Survivor. See, I still like this one. This one survives. This, All right, y'all. We're just going to get this one out of the way because don't come for me because this is Tariq. I know. Newly released. Great, lovely packaging with the snake which I personally like however it did make the top 50 I know it's new less than a month old I don't even know but and maybe it's gonna need more time I was not wowed when I first got it well I do like this prayer no and you know why it smells like play-doh with cinnamon <laughs> yes I said it play-doh with cinnamon oh we're just going in y'all here's another newbie getting a lot of hype which is I think it's new by Paris and I'm not a big Paris Corner person anyway. Their fragrances and my body chemistry don't really work well. Not bad a sprayer though. I'm gonna stop the spray and you don't care. I don't care, we don't care, we don't care. We just wanna know, oh, pineapple. Pineapple for me, unless it's really sweet. The initial spray is definitely pineapple. As you get it close to your nose, it becomes, it smells sweeter. But that initial hit for me is more masculine leaning. No. Aslu by Adyan. This was another one I think that was in the to be rehomed, saved from exile, and now may potentially be going back to exile. This is, woo, this is a no. Disclaimer: lovely fragrance, fruity, floral, lovely fragrance. Aslu. Don't want to, don't want to say full no yet, but probably. This one actually was a surprise to me. This one is Cerati's Royal Musk Pomegranate Raspberry, and in my top 50 video you saw that the caramel toffee is my number one probably number top five for life I love it that much I, I love everything about it this one 
didn't well it didn't make the top 50 because it it it's nice but i i think that the pomegranate might overwhelm the raspberry and i love me a raspberry scent i think this smells a little more tart it's a very well blended combo but it is more tart with the pomegranate i'm going to say yes to this one here's another newbie this i believe is pink to pink which is the flanker for ajwad it is pink to pink there were things about it that i thought needed to mature it needed, it needed to round out basically oh uh -uh. didn't round out uh -uh. not only did it not round out it decided it was going to go medicinal can become a doctor oh that's a oh uh, that's a no Oh, and I can't even put the disclaimer up because y'all, I do not think this is a nice fragrance. Here we go. Narisa Poudre by Maison Alhambra, which I believe is a, a dupe or a clone for Narcisa Rodriguez's Poudre, which I don't have and have not smelled. So I can't speak to that. Similar situation. When I first got this, I thought it needed some time out. And that's where I put, that's where I put it. Now, don't have time for a time out. You're either going to behave today or you're going to find a new place to stay. Done. Done and done. Mm, this is not behaving. There's something scratchy to my nose. No. I am not going to describe why I do not like this one. There's no disclaimer either. I do not like this one. Like I said, you either perform today or you find another place to stay. And this is moving out. You may remember that I, Jamila by Mateen Martin was one of my top 50. And this one is her sister, Miral, which gets really good TikTok or social media hype. I bought this one first, wasn't a fan, and then it kind of grew on me, and then I kept it, but it didn't make that top 50, which I'm going to stop saying, because everything here didn't make the top 50. I should say it once, didn't make the top 50. <laughs> the question is, as an honorable mention, is it worth keeping? Ah, oh, with the sprayer. <sighs> you know what, you can't be making decisions based on the atomizer. Mm. But man, did you see that? Oh, yes. This is a yes. I'm going to say yes to Morale, and I'm going to pause, and I'm going to wash my hands. Cool, guys. Okay. Beautiful bottle. I don't know what it's called, but it's a beautiful bottle. Didn't make the cut. I think this lean masculine. This is a no. Gorgeous bottle. Wish there was different juice on the inside. Definite no. This is another one. Didn't make top 50. I always call it Mothra after the Godzilla big moth, but it's called Mora. Yes. There's, there's fruit red fruit. I love it. This is so nice. Actually, this, I'm kind of surprised. Did this make my top 50? No, I'm sure it didn't. I don't know why it didn't. There's, there's a few I'm thinking about this could have actually come up in front of, but it didn't. It's a yes now. Definite keeper. I'm going to put it in the, in the to wear in the next month stack. Okay. Afnan's Rare Passion. I remember liking it. You know, I read somewhere or saw something that says you shouldn't bring these to your nose you should let them waft around you because that's how you're really gonna know if it's leaving a sillage because this is how you're gonna smell people are not gonna be all up in your nose like that you know smelling you although I don't know about that but I don't have enough time to spray 12 sprays for each fragrance and then sit there and say oh what do I smell in the air no I need to get it close to me that's why I do this if you notice other than the fact that I, was, I also talk with my hands I get nothing out of this so this is this this is called this is a no this one is by Baidi Al Oud Amethyst. And when I did my top 50, I tried to make the argument that this and Sublime were flankers to Infinity Rose, but they're not. They need to stand on their own. I love the packaging, and this is one of the ones I have dupes for. I mean, like, truly, I have an unopened box of this. I may have another unopened box of this somewhere else, but I know I have one because I just saw it over the weekend. No. Damn. This is another new one. This is Jasur by Latafa. And I think I told you when I first reviewed it that I needed time. I absolutely love the packaging. I just think it's very unique and different. But now is the time. Maybe I'll label this either play today or find another place to stay. <clears throat> what do you think of that, guys? This is lemon. This is full on lemon, maybe even pineapple. And can you see me frowning? Pineapple just hits my nose. But that's all I'm getting is pineapple. So I need to see how this how this performs on my body. So Jasur goes in the same need to wear in the month of April. Souvenir Desert Rose. Beautiful bottle. It's a little little rose on the top. Opens, I think I've showed you, opens like that. Looks like a little grenade. I kept it after the declutter. I went back, it remained. This smells like propane. 
this is a no. Not to be left behind, here is its sister, which is Souvenir Floral Bouquet. Mm. No, this one has more rose in it than the other one, to be honest with you, but no. Disclaimer, very nice scent, but there are other rose fragrances that I would reach for. Decision made. Y'all, I don't even know what to say because honestly, I have so many of this one. And by the way, you guys, before I forget, thank you so much for your input. One of my future giveaways will absolutely be these opened but unsprayed Middle Eastern fragrances. As you can tell, I do have a lot of probably will end up doing two or possibly three baskets. Just depends on how many duplicates I'm finding as I'm going through this. And we'll do a giveaway. So maybe I'll do the giveaway. Oh, Lord, getting to a thousand viewers may take me forever. But maybe I'll do the giveaway when I get to a thousand because that would be nice. Three winners, three baskets. I can get them all together between now and then. Not forever, hopefully. And I remember this one. This one hmm, has totally changed. I like it. Really? Then it must be the black one that is in my masculine leaning group. Neither made the cut, but this one I actually like. So this one is a yes for me. I'm going to wrap up these honorable mentions with the original Ajwa. I like the original. I like, actually what I liked was the bottle and the design of it. But you know what? I thought I liked pink to pink too. And that's going. So let's see what I think about this one now. No. Maybe. I need to wear it. Something needs to be better blended. I don't know what it is. If it ends up being pineapple, then we know that's why I initially said no, but it may be softening. So this is gonna go in my stack. I'm gonna have three stacks, you guys. I'll come back, let me tally it up, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you what we got. Right, guys, let's total up what I've done. I have three groups. I have five in the add to my tray for this month pile. Wearing it one day on skin will tell me if it's a true yay or nay, for sure. I have seven in my definite yes, pile and then I have 16 in my go pile. But in any case, 16 of these honorable mentions are actually going. I'm pretty damn proud of me. That's it. That's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Appreciate you being here. Hope you got something out of it. If you have any questions about any of these, let me know in the comments. DM me and as always, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.